Hey guys, this is Nathan and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this Unturned Map Editor tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to use the lighting tools that are found within the Environments tab. So, first of all, you've got all this stuff here on the side. These are all uh, color sliders. I'll show you what they're used for in a bit. But to start off, I'll show you these tools over here, which most of them don't actually have to do with lighting. So the sea level slider, this controls the level of the water, and right now it is colored black. That's actually, now it's colored green. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably good. So yeah, that's the water there. The slider just moves that up and down, and of course it's on a percentage scale with one being 100%. But if you put it onto one, it just removes the water completely. Because if you had the water all the way up to the very top, there would be no point. So yeah, they just made it one as zero. Zero, it also does the same thing. There is no water. Well, actually, technically there is water down there, but you just can't ever reach it. So okay. Also, the snow level. It's another good tool. Um, the higher up the number is. Uh, represents the highest you have to be to start getting into the snow so if it's at 0.81 you know it's like 80 percent high of the map once you start getting up into that level you start getting the snow and the extra fog but lower down you don't ever see that also putting it at one will remove it completely actually never mind it won't remove it completely you'll still be able to get some of it but you won't ever be able to like walk up into it very high and putting it at zero just gets rid of it completely because obviously you can't go lower than zero in this game. Um, the moon. Okay, so we can see the moon here. This controls the moon cycle. And this does have some significance because now when there's a full moon, the zombies have red eyes and they're faster and stronger. And I think there's more of them that spawn. So yeah that's the significance of this the moon cycle will change anyway though so it doesn't matter as much but for the time being when you just start the map that'll decide what moon cycle it's in also the time of day is controlled with this slider so instead of using these buttons which also control the time of day you can just customly set it here and it shows the transition between the times of day really nicely so that's why that is there okay so now into the actual uh, customization of the light itself so actually okay the azimuth also controls the sun's position it just controls where it rotates from so the rotation here is pretty vertical if we put the azimuth here it's now going to be pretty horizontal so you see how that works it's pretty simple as well um, the bias is the ratio between night and day. If you have the bias all the way up, it's going to be all day. It turns black at the end because it sort of glitches. But it'll just be constantly day. All day. There will never be light nighttime. Uh, if it's all the way down, the bias is all the way down, it'll be all the way nighttime. All the time night. And it'll just be night. Actually, it's not all the way down. It's Now it's all the way down. So yeah, all the way night. And it does that glitchy thing again, but yeah, just ignore that. And if you have the bias right in the middle, it'll be uh, equally night and equally day. So that's how that works as well. Uh, the fade is how smoothly the transitions between the times of day are. The times of day are set with these four buttons, and you can customize the light levels at each of those times of day. So the fading will show you how smoothly they transition, and I'll show you this here. If you put the fade all the way down, the transition is very abrupt. As you see, there's no, there's no smoothness to the transition at all. It's like, it's very, very abrupt. So, if you put the fade all the way up, that'll probably get you the smoothest transitions. Your light levels will constantly be changing and it'll just be very smooth for you so those are all those settings that are not directly involved with the lighting itself and the colors of the light so now I'll show you those so for each of the times of day you've got dawn midday dusk and midnight 
you can change these many different types of colors for the lighting as well as the intensity of the light, the fog level, the clouds, and how strong the shadows are. So I'll show you the intensity first. Can you? I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, you can see it somewhat. As you move the intensity up, the brightness of the colors increase. As you move it down, it gets more drab, grayer, stuff like that. Um, the fog level is pretty obvious just more or less fog. You can also change the color of the fog so you can get some pretty cool effects with that. Uh, the clouds, how many clouds are in the sky can get pretty cloudy up to no clouds at all. And the shadows, I really haven't seen the shadows working much so I don't know if they're just not working or not implemented or if there is a change maybe there's not enough of a change to really be noticeable but potentially if you put it all the way up the shadows will be stronger and if you put it all the way down the shadows will be very much less so yeah those are those settings at the bottom and those will change with each of the times of day like the intensity level for dawn will probably be different from midday yeah so it's different from midday if you change it at midday you can see the difference so now getting into the different colors themselves so we got the sun color now this controls not the white part of the sun here I'm going to lower the, the cloud level it's hard to see so this doesn't low this doesn't actually change the color of the center of the sun it changes the color of the, the outside of the sun and it's kind of hard to see yeah it's really hard to see it doesn't really change it that much I mean you can customize that if you really want to but as you see it's on black you can't really tell the difference between that and red or anything so okay now for the C color this one is a big difference you can tell this has changed a lot so if I raise the C level a bit so we can actually see the C I'll change it for you okay so yeah it changes it a lot it's a big difference I mean you can make the water really funky colors if you really want to so that's the sea level uh, the fog color let's get some fog if we make the fog color red you know it gets like a, a nice red color fog purple you know whatever you want white is just normal fog pretty much black I actually like black fog that looks, that looks pretty good just makes it more shadowy so though that controls the fog color okay now the sky colors these are a little more complicated but they're still pretty simple this color this changes the color of the very top of the sky if you turn it all the way white the sun pretty much disappears so that's good to know so the top sky color changes probably from about here all the way up now the middle sky color changes from here down about to there pretty much all the way over the horizon so you know if we wanted to make yeah see there you can see the contrast a lot between the middle sky and the top sky and then the bottom sky usually you can't really see the bottom sky much because to see it you have to be uh, pretty high up on the map and usually you're surrounded by uh, uh, mountains or something like that and oceans but if you get to a point where you're really high up you can see the difference between the bottom sky it controls you know the lower half alright so the ambient colors these are the most complicated ones to to mess with and to show you how they work I'm gonna have these uh, building set up for you so the top ambient color controls the light color that is reflected off the top of any objects you've placed so I'll change that black and you'll see pretty quickly what it does it also affects the color of the landscape so as you see now that it's black you still have got the side colors and the underside colors but the top of everything and it looks like the outside as well has turned black if you turn it white they'll just be their normal color so yeah this changes the look of the map a lot
So the middle ambient color changes the side view, the, the side color of any objects, including the clouds. You can see they change. It's, you can probably see it the easiest on the clouds since they're automatically white. So the middle ambient, ambient changes the side color and the bottom ambient, which you can also see in the clouds really well, changes the bottom color of any items or anything that's in the world. So that pretty much wraps it up for the lighting tools. Um, yeah, if you got any questions about them, uh, either experiment yourself or just ask me in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to see some more. Thank you guys for watching.